27. Identify the hybridization of the central atom in each of the following molecules or ions that contain multiple bonds. And then we have SO2F2, and they do tell us that the sulfur is the central atom. So basically, we just have to find the hybridization of sulfur, because sulfur is the central atom. Now, whenever you're trying to find a hybridization, the easiest way to go about this is to draw a Lewis structure. Yes, it's one extra step, but I promise you that once you get that Lewis structure, the hybridization is just, you know, a, a topping on the, on the cake, right? It's easy. It's easy as pie. And I guess I'm hungry because it's uh, 747 in the morning and I'm already talking about, you know, pies and cakes. But anyway, let's draw the Lewis structure. They're telling us that the sulfur is the central atom, so sulfur has got to be in the middle, and all the other elements are attached to that sulfur. So I got a total of two oxygens and two fluorines. That's going to be bound to the sulfur. So maybe I'll put one oxygen here, one oxygen here, the F, and the F. Now let's put valence electrons. I guess we'll start with the fluorine. Fluorine is in group 7A or 17 on the periodic table. That means it's got lucky number 7 as the valence electrons. So 7 dots around the fluorine, and the same one for this one. Now oxygen is in group 6A or 16. That means it's got number 6 as its valence electrons. So 2, 4, what? 2, two 4, 6, 8. 1, 2, why am I doing 2, 4, 6, 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Once again, it's 7, 7, 48 now. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. And sulfur is in the same group as oxygen, so that's also 6 electrons. So we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, always single bond them up dot to dot to see if the outer elements have the octet. So let's see, dot to dot, single it up, dot to dot, single, single, and single. Fluorine's all good, right? Two, four, six, eight. So that's in check. That means I keep the single bond. Two, four, six, eight. So that means I keep this single bond as well. But the oxygens, they need a little bit of help. Two, four, six, seven. And the same thing for this oxygen. So that's why we have to do another bond, dot to dot, dot to dot. And now the oxygen have two, four, six, eight electrons, and the same with this one. Now if you look at sulfur, it's got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve electrons, but that's all good because sulfur is one of the elements that can have an expanded octet, mainly because sulfur has access to the d orbitals. So when it's a center atom, it can have more than eight. But if sulfur was not the center atom, and it was maybe in fluorine's place, it could only have eight electrons. But since it's the center, it could have a max of 12. Now since we have the Lewis structure, we can now easily find the hybridization. The hybridization is just a combination of sp and d um, uh, orbitals that are overlapping to form your bonds, specifically your sigma bonds. But all you have to know is that the hybridization is linked to the number of letters that's in it. So for example, sp3 has one s and three p's, right? p3, three p's. That's a total of four letters. And if I strip away one p, I'm now at sp2, and that has a total of three letters. If I strip another one away, that's sp, that only has two letters. And the number of letters corresponds with the number of things. Two letters, two things. Three letters, three things. And just know what one thing is classified as. So either one single bond, or one double bond, or one triple bond, they're all classified as one thing. So don't get confused when you see two lines, just group them as one thing. Right? The triple bond has three lines, but it's still classified as one thing. And one lone pair of electrons, that's also one thing. So, now let's see what's around the sulfur. Well, it's got a single bond, that's one thing. It's got another single bond, that's two things. Now here comes my double bonds, I group them together. So three things, four things. 
no lone pairs around the, the sulfur, right? I can't group any of these dots because they don't exist for the sulfur. So sulfur's got four things. So four things, four letters. Drum roll, please. SP3. And that is your hybridization for the sulfur. Woohoo! What'd you think? Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I love seeing how you guys are doing in your classes. Good luck on any future tests or quizzes, not just in chem, but in all your other classes as well. And if you are taking physics or a math class at the moment, we could also help you out because those, those videos are on the channel as well. So go check the channel out. Um, I hope you're having a great day and let's just keep studying. All right. Always keep learning and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.